a new life update, of course. I have, always have so many updates for you guys. But ever since doing my tell-all video, I've just really noticed how strong of a person I've become, how less reserved I've become, and pretty much how I've just learned to live life for me, like, and just how important your happiness is. I feel like I've encountered so many bitter people, especially women, and it's just, I cannot live my life like that. Like, I can't live my life with that one thing that's on my shoulders that just carries on. And before you know it, I'm just somewhere mad in a corner. So, as you can see, the title of this video is From Corporate to Nanny and Just Determining Your Happiness. So, some of you may not know, but I moved to Arizona after finishing an internship with Make-A-Wish Toledo in Toledo, Ohio. I did my internship for an entire summer, 40 hours a week, and it was a non-paid internship. Now, I was so happy at my internship. Like, I would literally wake up every morning like, yeah, time to go to work. <laughs> like, and that's not normal. But I just think I was around very positive people. I was around, um, supervisors of mine that were something like mentors you know it wasn't just like go make a copy of this it was they were really mentors and they really cared about our success and you know that we cared about Make-A-Wish Foundation so after moving to Arizona I worked at um, Renaissance Hotel for about six months and then I was offered a job at Make-A-Wish America which is um, the corporate office to make a wish, which pretty much, which pretty much oversees and all of the 64 chapters of Make a Wish Foundation over the United States, and also Make a Wish International was um, housed in that office as well. So I don't want this video to be so much about Make a Wish. I just want it to be more about me and just determining what I really want to do. Now, if I could just really paint the perfect picture of my life, it would be me, my husband, my children, our little doggy, in a nice little house. I would wake up in the morning, I would make breakfast for my children, make breakfast for my hubby, make him some coffee, send him off to work. Bye, bae. <laughs> And then I would have my children and we would, I would drop them off at school or if it was the summertime, I would drop them off at summer camp. And I would just really, during that time that my husband's at work and my kids are at school, I would use that time to volunteer. That would be the perfect time for me to continue being a wish grinner, which I still am a wish grinner for Make-A-Wish Arizona. But that would be the perfect time for me to be a wish grinner, um, you know, just do different volunteering things because what I've really noticed about myself is like my friends always joke and say I'm the mean friend and everything, but I'm such a caring person and I just really enjoy helping people and I think that's my passion in life. But I've come to realize that's not my passion in life on a nine to five job. Like, <laughs> it's just not me. Like, I need to be free and I need to kind of just know everything every day isn't going to be the exact same thing so I I'm sorry my weed is itching I never really looked at myself as a free spirit until recently but I really am a free spirit type of person but if you would ask me this two years ago I was like no like I'm reserved but I'm not and I think it was a lie I was telling to myself and it was something that within me I wasn't all the way happy so once I let the burden go of my past relationship I then had to work on me and what was I doing every single day that still wasn't making me happy so I thought on it thought on it you kind of had to have a blues clues moment where you sit in the thinking chair and think think Think. And when you use your mind, when you can do anything that you want to do. No, but I really did have to sit and think. And I was just like, okay. So I wake up in the morning. I go to work. I do the same thing every single day. 
I come home. By that time, I'm usually irritated because of work. So I just want to go to sleep. So there's that day. I wake up the next day and I do the same thing over and over again. And that's the part that was driving me insane. And I was just like, I cannot do this anymore. Like, it's to the point where it's draining me as a person. I feel like when it came to work, to be completely honest, I liked maybe six people outside of the team I worked on. And that's just not good. And I think that, like, how you feel about your coworkers really determines a lot about how you feel about going to work every day. And when you just have people who are nitpicking at little things, you just become fed up. And part of you is like, we're supposed to be in this magical place, but then the other part of you is like, at the end of the day, this is a place of business, you know? This is a nonprofit. It is a nonprofit for children with life-threatening conditions. But at the end of the day, it's a place of business. And it's for some people and it's not for some people. And for me, it just wasn't for me. And I was, you know, I walked in there on my first day with this huge smile on my face. Like, nothing really bothered me. And when little tiny things start bothering me, that's when I just knew that this wasn't where I was supposed to be. And so, I had to really think to myself what I wanted to do. So, if you know me, you know that I honestly hate school. Like, there's no part of school that I enjoy. And it kind of just goes along with the whole discipline, like, having to do something, having to have it do by this date. Everything's just so scheduled and structured. And to be honest, I'm not a scheduled and structured type person. Like, I hate when my friends text me two weeks in advance for plans. Like, that bothers me. Like, why do we have to be set on a schedule? And so, I was just like, you know, this really isn't working for me. And so, I had to really sit and think what I could do that wasn't your day-to-day, -day, but could get me to the type of day-to-day -day that I would like. So, um, nannying came up because I really enjoy children. Like, I just enjoy being around little people because they they kind of put life into perspective the little things that they do and say they just make you feel like you know everything in life is okay and so i started looking up nanny positions as well as i started looking up different things that i would like to go back to school for and so i landed a nanny position and then i decided that i do want to go back to for human development and with that I somewhat want to take event planning and human development in my time with nonprofit and work for less fortunate children or children you know with behavior issues and I just want to make them better people so I think that you know in a couple years like my mind will be set to do that and it also is something where when working with kids, nothing's going to be the same every single day. And I know I don't want to be a teacher, but I know that kids are my passion and helping people are my passion and making just people better people are my passion. So why not put those all together and just do something with it? So right now I am a full-time nanny. I have two children um, who are ages 5 and 12. And pretty much they're with me every single day um, you know we run errands we go to the library um, when their parents are out of town for a long time for long periods of time I do stay there and I become their primary caretaker for that time and then when they go back to school I will be working from 2 to 7 I'll be picking up the five-year-old from school and getting them home, getting their homework started, getting dinner prep. And it's just, it's just for me right now. And I just have to go with my gut. Like at first when doing it, I didn't know how to break the situation, how to break the decision down to even like my father. Like I was just like, ah, he's gonna hate me and call me stupid and dumb. And I'm just like, no, he's not. Like you'll be fine. So, yeah, 
I just wanted to update you guys and I also just wanted to tell you like go with your gut in life like you have to because if you don't you'll just be stuck like you will be so miserable I don't think I've met so many miserable people in the last year than I've ever met in my life like I'm just like what is your problem and when it came to that at my job that's when I was like I know I have to leave like when I started wondering what was going on in people's personal lives that they took things so deep or when I started wanting to curse people out that's when I was just like you have to leave like you cannot live like this and I wish that some people would have found out earlier but I have to say like I'm so glad I did because you can't just live every day just thinking about like the money or the security or I'm, live, I'm working in a corporate job so it's nowhere up but to the top and so I'm never going to leave here because you just, gosh, you'll kill yourself. Like just don't do it. So I just wanted to let you guys know what I've been doing um, and I'll also leave the website to wish, make a wish, well wish.org below and so you can see some of the volunteer opportunities because being a volunteer is really amazing like it's probably one of the best things i've ever decided to do i love all my wish kids and i just love wish kids period but when you get to make that connection with a family and with your wish kid it's the most amazing thing you can ever do so i'll definitely leave that if you guys have any questions on my career changes or decisions or anything please feel free to leave them down in the comments below and don't forget to like this video and subscribe